So with the uh, 25.2 update, the active target gathered, shall we say, gained some screens. We finally have some multicolors in the screens, and I'm going to show you what those new screens are, are basically the color palettes. Okay. So we'll do that in a moment. Let me get, let me get everything updated, and uh, we'll come back and uh, show you what it looks like. All right, I'm going to talk about some of the updates they did in the 25.2 update uh, for the active target. I'm basically going to call, talk about the, the changes you see on the screen here. Sorry, let me pull this down a little bit. It's, it's pretty bright out today. So what I've got is I've got the active target running on the bow. We've got it networked to the console. Console unit here. And I've got it running on my tablet today. Yesterday I didn't have it on the tablet, so that's why I'm recording it for you. I've got it on my live scanner uh, pole. And what I'm doing is I'm just have the pole, poles basically in, in sweep mode. So it's sweeping back and forth. So you see the screen continually changing. That's because the location of the transducer is continually changing. We're sitting right next to a big rock pile. In fact, you can see when we get near it, it'll come back over and it'll show right about there. There's, there's the rock pile and the, and the grass, okay? So, so anyway, so, so the basically, I want to talk about the three, three of the changes, three of the four changes they made in the 25.2 to the active target. First one I want to do is let's look at the different color palettes, okay? So right now, I'm, if I go and go to the color palettes, you hit the menu, hit more options, you see where it says palette. This is my default palette, which is palette number three, which is what I prefer. What I've noticed is, is just so you know, is if I change the palette here, the palette get, actually gets changed in the module, not in the unit, okay? So then if I change the palette on this unit, I go up to the other unit, you'll see the colors have changed over there as well. So, so let's go back. We're gonna, I'm going to show you the, the new colors. Uh, there's three, diff three new ones. The first one is palette number six, okay? That's this bright, ugly green thing, okay? I know some people like it. It actually does. It shows up really good in, in high highlight, you know, the bright light that we have right now today. So that's, that's, that's one of them. The other one, uh, the other two, if I can remember their numbers here, and I'll double check when I get, oh, I don't want to record that. Change the palette, it's number eight. That's one of the other palettes, okay? You can see how now we're multicolored. What I also have noticed with these newer, uh, the multicolor palettes, we're t tending to pick up a lot of noise. Now, I've got my trans sonar transducers turned on in the back. I, I usually put them on standby when I go up the bow, but I've also got the sink turned on, so we're not showing a lot of the uh, extra noise. So, but you can see that's one of our that's uh, color palette I think eight. Let's go back, yeah, and then color palette nine is one of the other color palettes. Uh, again, each color palette is pretty much whatever you prefer. Okay. They all show the same data. Like I say, the darker ones tend to show more noise. You can see the noise in the screen. See where it's showing it along the top there uh, that I don't see in my other, my standard color palette. So if I flip back to my other color palette, uh, which is palette number three, you can see most of that noise is gone. Now, we're, since we're on the river, we've got a lot of bubbles in the surface. A lot of, this is a highly turbulent area. There's a lot of current ripping. And so we'll occasionally get that type of noise there. So, so that's, that's one thing. So we got new color palettes, multicolors. There's some other ones that, that have been there for a while, but these new three new ones look like they're going to be pretty useful. Okay. So, so the next thing I want to show you, and this is where I need you to show, down on the bottom here on this screen, they changed this. It used to be zoom. Now what it does is you adjust the bottom. So if I take and do that, do this, you see how it moves the bottom off the screen? So it makes it smaller. Okay, so now my depth is sitting in what, 12 feet. So if I take and pop it up here, okay, now it moves the bottom up. Okay, that's handy if you're sitting off an edge and you're continually shifting back and forth deeper, deeper, deeper. Or maybe you wanna say zoom in and you really, say you, you're throwing your bait out, you're really only interested in that first 10 feet of water. That's what that is handy for. But again, so that's one change, a user interface change, okay? So we got colors changed, we got this one changed, and the other change they did is you hit the menu button and it's called reverse range, okay? So right now our reverse range in sitting in, in this 18 feet range, basically, we can see back, what is it, about five feet or so. So we take that off of auto 
and now you see it shifted. If I say, let's, let's look 30 feet back, see how it moves this cursor over, it's point over. So now I can see a little bit further behind the boat. To me, that's fairly, I, I, I've actually caught fish looking behind the boat. You can see, I did that on Champlain one day. I was looking behind the boat. I saw a fish sitting back there at about 25 feet, which I knew was right off the stern of this boat. Threw back there and caught the thing, okay? And that's what this angle will let you do. If you're, if you're not interested in looking behind the boat, you may be missing fish. Uh, but then again, you know, it, it's up to you. I'm, I'm, I'm basically gonna leave, my, my feeling is I'm gonna leave that setting in auto and just let it do, do its thing. Uh, but again, that's another new feature in 25.2. There's one more piece in the 25.2 that they did with the active target, um, and that was to allow you to do the depth offset, and that's, that will help you to see your bait on the surface. We're not gonna do that because what I really wanna do is I wanna measure, and I wanna show you where, where you measure from, how far your transducer is underwater. But we'll do that in another video. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I know this is a little bit quickie, and pretty much basic stuff, but you know, letting you know what's, what's new in this 25.2 update. Okay. Uh, anyway, if you haven't subscribed, appreciate it. You go ahead and subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, please. And if you've got any questions, please feel free to comment. Uh, I always appreciate good, positive comments. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye.